Hi everybody, welcome back to Frontier Patriot. I'm Ron Rayfield and today we're going to build a cabinet box. This cabinet box can sit on your mantle, on a shelf, or can hang on the wall by itself. Now, I've already pre-cut our sides and our top and our bottom. I've also pre-drilled all the holes that we need. And I've also pre-built the door. Now this door does not use your traditional metal hinges. It's going to use a more primitive wood peg system and swing open and shut. Now, this is really easy to do. I did not measure anything. I just eyeballed it. We're out here on the frontier. So there's no fancy uh, Chippendale style furniture happening out here on the frontier. So primitive is what we're going for. So this is a very primitive box. And you might be wondering, well, how come there's a hole in the center of this door frame? Well, we are going to punch 10 a design on this tin here and then we'll fasten it to the door with some little tack nails on the back side but first we've got to get this box together and then we'll worry about punching that tin so let's start with the top up here so we want to get our top on we want to take one of our little pegs we got over here and we've already got them uh, lubed up with some of this hide glue hide glue has been around for thousands of years and it's still used today in high-end furniture so it's been on there for about an hour, so it's nice and tacky. You don't really want your glue to be runny. Uh, actually, the thicker and stickier it is, the better. And we just want to gently tap these in until they get flush. You don't want to overdo it. It's not like driving a nail. This, this is wood, so you got to be careful. So we're going to do the other side. Get her lined up there. Just give it a little tappy. One more. There we are. Okay, now before we can put this one on, we have to get our door lined up up here. Because once this goes on, it's going to lock the door in with the peg system. There's a hole right here on the top piece, and there's a hole right here on the bottom piece. So what we want to do is get this door lined up right there. And now... We can put on the bottom one, like so, let the door relax, take another peg that's got some glue on it, gently tap it in. And we'll put our last peg in. Gently tap it in. And now, you can see it's starting to come to life. So this is how our door is held together with the pegs. It's very primitive, but very effective. Now, for the top and bottom, we just got some extra pieces of scrap wood here left over from our project. And we're just gonna put that on there and we're gonna use these small square head nails I got and we're going to put four nails on the top and four nails on the bottom and that's going to really sturdy this up there we are and we're just eyeballing this it don't have to be perfect like I said out here on the frontier it's it's primitive there's one Now we'll go to the other side. Looks about the same. We're just eyeballing this. And another. there we have our top and our door still swings free gaps look decently good even though I did not prepare for that because you always want to make sure you got a nice gap at the bottom and the side and they're equal so it's looking pretty good 
for what it is. Now we'll put on the bottom piece. Same thing, we're going to let just a little bit hang over on the edge of it. And the last one. And there we have it. Got our four nails on the top and the bottom. So now let's move on to the uh, the ten for the door. I better put the lid on this before it goes everywhere. In fact, I'll just set it over here where it's safely out of the way. All right. So first off, rule number one when you're punching ten: never do it on the surface <laughs> on a permanent surface. Use a scrap piece of wood, otherwise you will destroy your table if you uh, do this. And we got a punch here, and we got a hammer, and I've got this old timey compass I'm going to use to make a perfect circle. Now I'm just going to kind of wing this, so you just want to, wherever you put it, you push down and you scribe a circle all the way around, okay? So right there looks about like the middle. And we're going to do a circle. Alright, you're not going to be able to see that scribe probably, but we just made a perfect circle. So now, we're going to take our punch and we're going to go around and punch some holes. We're going to start at 12 o'clock. Then go down to 6 o'clock. Then we're going to go to 3 o'clock. Then we're going to go to 9 o'clock. It's best to keep going opposite like that to get it as even as possible. Alright, so now you guys can get a better view here of what I'm doing. And as you get them closer and closer together, you can just go around and around and find the center. And you don't have to be perfect. Like I said, this is primitive. We're out here on the frontier. Alright, now we have it here. So we just did a pretty little flower inside of a, uh, a circle. And this is why you don't want to use your tabletop. You want to use a board because this thing just peppered that. So, let's get that out of the way, and let's stick this in here and see what it looks like now. Oh yeah, look at that. That's going to be real pretty when we get that fastened in there and get this all painted up. We're going to paint this on another episode, and we're going to do a, a nice little paint job on it. We might put some flowers and stuff. So I'm going to get this fastened, and I'll show you what that looks like. Alright, so I've attached our punch tin to our door here, and doesn't that look nice? Now I'm going to wait and put the little latch on the door after I've painted it. Otherwise, I'll have to take it off to paint behind it. And uh, so comment below and let me know what you think, what color this should be. I'm thinking dark green. Justine really likes dark green. And uh, we'll get it painted up and put maybe some uh, pen striping on it or something. I'm not real sure yet. But uh, I hope you guys try to build this. You don't have to even build it this fancy. It can be even more basic than this. Uh, you can just do a top and a bottom on some sides and just stick your door right into this you don't even have to have these spacings uh, this is just a little extra so now it there's a you know sits down in there so nothing can uh, can roll out now this is going to go probably up here or on the wall somewhere so I did not put it back on this it's 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 not needed necessarily and it'd just be extra weight now you can put it back on it obviously if you want to uh, you can even put a, a little shelf in here if you want to go halfway up now this ain't that big so uh, let's see for judge it by size Here's the bottle that she uses to cook with sometimes. That's about how big it is. So, it, to each their own, I guess you could say. Thank you everybody for uh, supporting us and liking and subscribing to Frontier Patriot and Early American. We deeply appreciate you all. Thank you for all the suggestions on what I should build on this video. Uh, like hutches and beds and dressers and tables. Now I do all that stuff 
in my modern workshop. But once we build our home site, I would hope to have a uh, historical workshop that I can actually show myself making some of them things and I still have to acquire uh, quite a bit more historical tools but it's always fun getting to work with this stuff but anyways thank you guys you guys have a great week we'll see you next week bye bye